assalamu alaikum everyone this is rph fia and welcome to the platform of pharmaphilia once again with a new video of the drug series that is acephaline and this is the drug 3 so let's begin the video mechanism of action of acephaline is inhibition of phosphodiesterase with a resulting increase in intracellular cyclic amp but not as the doses that we use for their clinical effect other proposed mechanism of action includes the adenosine receptor antagonism prostaglandin antagonism and effect on the intracellular calcium as you can see in the previous slide its brand name that is acephile broncophylline broncophile acephile lp and etc its drug category it's belong to the xanthine family and its content 5 ml in 5 ml of the acephile syrup it contain the 125 mg of acephaline now its therapeutic category in the normal muscle lining you can see the muscles and the lining in the normal condition when the asthma attack or the asthma trigger to the patient then the muscle lining contract It, that it can lead to the bronchoconstriction so by using the acephaline the bronchioles are dilated so the muscles become relaxed after the use of the medicine so if i conclude it is therapeutic uses so it have the anti asthmatic effect it is used as a bronchodilator and non selective phosphodiesterase inhibitor now in the pregnancy and lactation in pregnancy the risk cannot be ruled out and in lactation caution advised to or effect undetermined now its indication it is used in bronchospasm in the bronchitis and bronchial asthma relief of wheezing in bronchitis and tracheal bronchitis in asthma and sa so at last the doses of the syrup that is acephile in children 4 to 12 months 2.5 ml tid to the 1.5 year to 3 years children 5 ml tid in the 4 to 7 years 10 ml tid and obviously the adult doses increase that is 15 to 25 ml tid or qid 15 ml is equivalent to tablespoon and 5 ml is equivalent to teaspoon so that's all from this video 